Oh. You call that kissing a baby? Mm. No! Like a kiss a baby. No! Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. Ew, fairy nigga. in the magical sense, not about kissing guys. Oh my god! I, I, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but you can put an end to this right now by tearing up that gay marriage ban. You won't break me. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, the boy Blast from Sage D, and today we are here to check out a Family Guy compilation that I've got on Discord from one of you guys. You know who you are. This compilation is called The Very Best of Mayor Adam West. That was not supposed to rhyme. God damn it. Let's do this. Chapstick. With smooth lips, I will finally be able to be a mayor who kisses babies with confidence. Hey, crack lips. You'll see, you'll all see. Damn it, Swanson, I want them found. Mayor West, we have every available man looking for the Griffins. We just don't have any leads. Not the Griffins, you moron. The rest of my light, bright pieces. My name ah! isn't Adam Wee. Ah! Or is it? Ah! Who am I? Ah! What number did you dial? Ah! I'll never call here again. Ah! I guess I told him. Ah! Nobody messes with Adam Wee. Ah, right, it's a date. Oh, but we mustn't let the local nobleman find out. What otherwise, he'll assert his right of prima nobis. Oh, nope, we're too late. Yeah, I must bless this coupling with my soggy English penis. What? Uh, uh, come hither that I may sire thee, a dreary Brit. What? <laughs> You ever wonder what a seagull tastes like? What? You know, I actually have. I used to wonder, but now I know. What? It's not good. It's great. Wow, Adam, I just have to tell you, I'm, I'm having a terrific time. Me too, Carol. That was a great idea you had about walking parallel to the water. It makes for a longer walk. See? We're already making each other better people. Carol, I want to make this a night you'll never forget. I'm fine. For you, this tree was my destination. And the job exchange begins. Homie Sam, I want to make this a night that you'll never forget. <laughs> And shoots a fucking random fisherman. What is wrong with this show? Oh my god. Making each other better people. Carol, I want to make this a night you'll never forget. Oh my. And the job exchange begins. Sir, do you want to move ahead on the agreement with the sanitation union? Sir, we need leadership. Pizza for Adam West. No! You gave me Canadian bacon instead of bacon? This misdeed cannot go unpunished. Pizza delivery man, prepare to meet your maker at the hands of my cat launcher. Oh! What the fuck? Yo! 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 What the heck? Hey, look! Somebody ah. tried to break into the dirty movie store! Quick, ah. grab as many as you can before ah. someone sees us! Ah. Damn, I lost him! All right, cats, back in the bag. Come on, Fluffy. Come on, Mitten. Ah. Come on, Paul. Ah. What a ridiculous name for a cat! <laughs> Paul! That's a person's <laughs> name! A person's name! I'm sure with the cat. Oh, what is wrong? Paul. Oh, God. Looks like they're completely sold out. Yeah, sorry. We just sold our last turkey to that guy. You are the turkey I have chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey! Oh, shit! No! Oh, 
fudge circles. What? Let's see. I guess 185 pounds. Wrong. I'm 95% helium. Has the steel. And, well, Prius Pumpkin from the county fair, that's why I'm naming you my chief of police. Mayor West, there's something you need to see. My God, my wife is seeing another mayor. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be, because I'm going to win her back. I trust you'll take care of things here in my absence. <laughs> Officer down! Okay, let's pick teams. I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then <coughs> on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. Ah! Future old people are wizards. Well, it's become clear. The only way to avert this disaster is by writing a strongly worded letter to the black hole. Dear Space. Anus? Well, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? You think you're so good because you went to choke. Well, you're not going to be so tough when I put a fishbowl on my head and a rocket pack on my back and come up there and punch you. Take that, Orion! That's right. All you are is a failed production company. Oh! I'm gonna have a brother? Well, what we're discussing is whether or not marriage is a smart move for Carol at this point in time. I was hoping you might be able to weigh in. I'm gonna have a brother! Hey, Adam, wanna go get in a fight over the rules of a game we made up? Yep. Five points, I win. That's not fair. You weren't touching the bush. I was too touching the bush. Oh, cool. This rock has mica. Uh, let me see. Don't touch it. It's worth money. I didn't know you rode bikes. I didn't know you rode bikes. Let's go butts up and fast. Oh, no. Patch of sand. Oh, oh my God. Are you all right? I'm fine. Let's just keep riding bikes. Are you sure? That was a wicked wipeout. I'm fine. Can we just keep riding bikes, please? Oh, my God. I can't believe I stole this. You know what? I don't feel bad. That woman's a nightmare. <gasps> Ooh, I should text this to my best friend. Sick brooch. Adam, are you done with that mayor homework yet? It's called a bill, Mom. I should warn you, I have a tiny bulletproof shield the exact size of a bullet somewhere on my body. And if you hit it, I'll be unharmed and your plan will be foiled. You'll be the laughing stock of me. I don't want to shoot you, Mayor West. Good, because I'm incredibly crafty. Hey, what's that on the ceiling? Ha <laughs> ha! Now I'm over here. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. Mayor West, after working with you for some time now, I believe you are affecting your weird behaviors. You are doing deliberately odd things to mask dark, maybe even criminal activities. You are 100% aware of what you're doing. I think you're a dangerous sociopath. Cleveland, let me tell you something. You're absolutely right. Oh, my God! Well, time to put on my spaghetti hat. Oh. I stand behind my decision. This press conference is over. I can't see you now. I can't hear you now. You're not here now. La, 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 la. Well, there you have it. Back to you, Tom. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Some damn fine reporting. Damn fine. Diane? Well, it's encouraging to know that I'm not the only Mayor West who's facing difficulties. But what I need now is a diversion. Let's see. Outlaw flag burning, use escape pod, commit suicide, escape blow the French, start a war, mm, jingle keys. Jingle keys. My God, 
I'm a tomato. <laughs> Look, th this it's has gotten out of brick. hand, I know. I, I, I don't want anyone to get hurt, but you can put an end to this right now by tearing up that gay marriage ban. You won't break me. Fifteen years ago, I swallowed everything I needed to escape from a hostage situation. Oh, my God. Oh, my... <laughs> Oh, whoa. Ah! Well, no matter. I'm prepared for a lengthy captivity as well. <laughs> I swallowed this People magazine in 1989. Shit, with throat muscles like that, man, you definitely are prepared for a long captivity. Shit. <laughs> Shit, with throat that damn strong, <laughs> they'll never let you go. <laughs> Fucking around, get married again. All right, Paul Hogan. Tell me about the real Crocodile Dundee. Nice going, Joe. Well, it's great being back in the North, where people are civilized. Hey, what are you guys all on a date? Gay! <laughs> people, please, first things first. Is there <laughs> a off of Craigslist? I am. Oh, good. Come on in. <laughs> that is the picture from Craigslist. No way it is. It is. No way it is. All right, what do the rest of you want? We want the city government shut down. Yeah! Oh, I see. And all of you feel the same way? Yes! No! Yes! Well, I'm nothing if not a public servant. And the public has made its feelings known. I hereby declare Quahog City government disbanded. Yeah! It has been my pleasure to serve you. And now, I take my leave. This what? column is mine. I brought it from home. All this singing is contagious. I'll sing too. Adam West, Adam West. A little bit softer now. Adam West, Adam West, Adam West, Adam West. I'll come out when they're all gone. Oh, I think we got to the root of the problem, didn't we, Lois? Absolutely. All right, let's dope her up good. Turn that mouth off. No, Peter, the problem is you. What? What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be my friend. Dr. Brown, I just killed nine people. Ah, uh, I mean, I have ducks on my feet. Old crazy harmless mayor. Quack, quack. Today, we're here to honor Joe Swanson for pulling my poor one-eyed cat, Bootsy, out of the old stovepipe of my grandmother's cabin. Joe Swanson won the special People's Decathlon, and we're here to honor him. In lieu of jail time, I sentence you to 100 hours of community service. Next item. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to join these two in holy matrimony. If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Quiet down, you had your chance. Yeah, it's actually pretty awkward. I mean, Dad's the only one in the whole production who doesn't know he's being fired. But he'll find out tomorrow at the table read. What? what? This is how we did that. Bet you didn't know. I didn't know that. Oh my god. I did not know that. Brian. Are you sure none of these are real monsters? Stewie, it's gonna be fine. Look, here's our first house. There you go. A Cornish game hen for you. What? A Cornish game hen for you. What? Everybody gets a hen. Would you like some gravy? Sure. No! Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... What? 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 You are a filthy whore. Sorry, but according to this map, you're not even part of these United States. Which would make you... A communist! Damn. Usually my malcontents are skinnier. Would you come back in a week when my fat malcontent trapdoor will be completed? I'm not coming back in a week or ever. I've had it with you and I've had it with this whole damn government. Fine. I love this job more than I love taffy. And I'm a man who enjoys his taffy. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 
So you say this gumball machine took your dime and didn't give you a gumball? That's right. Well, I'll take care of that. Hand over the dime, buddy. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Wait a minute. This gumball machine takes quarters, not dimes. Holy crap, it's a setup. Time to make a quick getaway. With the glass? You were set up too, huh? Yeah. You realize that kid is plowing both our wives right now. What? You see, if our guests insist on bringing prostitutes into our B&B, we might as well provide the women too. What? Stewie, we're not going to become pimps. Are you sure? I'm sure. The answer is no, so don't bother flashing a wad of money because there's no way I'm going to change my answer in the middle of this sentence. Okay, maybe we could try it out and see how it goes. Hey, what are you girls doing standing around? Get to work! <laughs> I'm telling you, that dog is very easily persuaded. Now let's see what's going on at the old high school. And then they ripped up my dress, so now I have nothing to wear. Well, sometimes nothing to wear is a fun time. You know, just get weird. Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. Ew, fairy nigga. in the magical sense, not about kissing guys. Oh, my God. Ah! I want that big ah! snow white to just admit she had an abortion. Whoa, whoa. I was thinking more like a new dress for the party or a bunch of chew toys. Your choice. Chew toys. Take the chew toys. A new dress? Well, that means I could go to the ball. <laughs> Oh, what a beautiful dress. But but how will I get to the ball? I, I don't have a horse or a carriage. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, just change me into whatever. Yeah, that's cool, thanks. Well, is everything all right in here? Ah, this hurts! This hurts! <laughs> <laughs> We gather today to remember those brave Quahog men who were lost at sea. The Bible declares an eye for an eye. So let us now take our vengeance on this murderous ocean. You won't be hurting anyone anymore. I hereby declare this public park and future homosexual meeting spot open. Oh. Unhand that woman, you bastard! Adam. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mayor Guns for Toys West. The chair recognizes your face. On guard. Yep, there it is. Don't fight is no the park open? Female Not whore. yet. Oh! You call that kissing a baby? No! That's how you kiss a baby. No, it's not. What? <laughs> no. Single-handedly? Officer Swanson, as thanks from a grateful city, please accept the Certificate of Merit. And with that, I hereby declare this hero cop open. Whoa, sweet bod. You lift, bro? That's it. We have to fight fire with fire. If nuclear refuse gave them superpowers, it could do the same for me. Citizens, I'm off to the toxic waste dump. Mayor West, you have lymphoma. Oh, my. Probably from rolling around in that toxic waste. I see. What in God's name were you trying to prove? I was trying to gain superpowers. Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. Um, then, pardon me? I just bought a Rottweiler, and I need a sign to warn people how dangerous it is. Well, we have exactly what... Ah, uh, yes, here it is, one way. So people will know if they step into my yard, there's only one way out. In a body bag. From dog injuries. Good day, ma'am. <laughs> Welcome, citizens. Today we commemorate those brave Quahog soldiers who perished in the recent Gulf conflict. I can think of no greater tribute to their memories than this solid gold statue of Diggum, the Sugar Smacks Frog. The spirit of America is epitomized by his inspiring motto, smack, smack, sugar, smack, gimme a smack and I'll smack you back. 
I'd also like to take this opportunity to announce extreme budget cutbacks having almost nothing to do with this solid gold statue. <laughs> Mayor West? Quiet, young man. Can't you see we're having a poker game? Now, I'll ask again. If I order a pizza, will anyone else have some? I might have a slice. Well, you know, I'm gonna need more of a commitment than that, Mark. It's because it's attracting my buns of steel. He Ugh. didn't knock it off. You knock it off. You're the one with the magnet. I'm serious. Knock it off. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Peter, for God's sake. <laughs> Oh, who am I kidding? I can't fight this anymore. Is she eating his ass? Is that what the sound is? Is that why he washed it off first? I missed you so much. Lewis, I smell whipped cream. Are you making strawberry shortcake? Ah! 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 So it's a shouting match you want, eh? Well, game on, Kohog. Ah! 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 I'm beating you! I ah! <laughs> My wife did. No! <laughs> I want to be a mayor in real life. So I'm here to ask you to make me the mayor of your town. Vote for me, Adam West. It'll be... A home run. Oh, God. It'll be a home run. <laughs> oh, no, he passed away. That's really awesome that they commemorated him in this episode. That's got to be way better than when I drove a Fiat. Hey, you cut me off. What? Turn down your radio. I can't. My stomach's pressed up against the dial. You want to go? Get me 17 shoehorns and some canola oil and we'll go. Get back here. <laughs> this is awesome. I haven't been on TV since I had IBS on The Bachelorette. Derek. What's IBS? I had such a magical weekend. You are truly one of a kind. And that's why I've decided to... Excuse me. Uh, do, you, do you know if I'm going to get a rose? We're getting to that, Peter. Derek, that's why I've decided to give you this rose. Evan, getting oh, to see no. your softer side was truly... Excuse me, I hate to be a bother, but do you, do you know if I'll be receiving a rose? Because if there's a further delay, I believe something's going to happen that will put me out of contention for a rose. <laughs> and that thing just happened. Ah! Farewell, and thank you for feeding me champagne and shrimp. All day. Ah! I haven't gotten this kind of attention since I went to see the Peanuts movie. Oh. Oh. Look, there he is. That's him. That's the guy who peed in his empty soda cup. Yeah, well, I still want that money. It's the only way I can afford that surgery to turn myself into 100% stained glass. What the f I don't get it. Neither do I. I don't get it either. And you're going to kill them all. Oh, That's kind of cool. That's beautiful. That's really cool. Meg, you gotta stop with these stories. People hate a liar. Just like closed captioning stenographers hated the Sleepy Hollow guy for some reason. That is sad. Mine is a 70s funk musical about William Howard Taft. That's hot. Who's the big fat president whose suits look like a flannel circus tent? Taft! Right on. Who's that presidential chub got stuck in the White House tub? William Howard Taft. They say this cat Taft is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Taft. And we can take it. We'll leave it to you to ruin it. Just like Dasani ruined water. Oh. Hey, guys. So, you know how water tastes like nothing? Well, what if it tasted like every bottle had a nickel in it? Oh! Stick with me. We're going to have a great adventure. Like the astronaut who thinks the lowest number is three. And lift off in five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. This could open up a whole new world for me. Like one of those kids who gets a device that allows him to hear for the first time. Getting those things was a worse idea than when all those pop stars committed that skank robbery. 
Everybody, get your hands up. This oh, is a robbery. Shit. Just put the money and the giant butt pants in a bag and nobody gets hurt. We All right, so we're going to take an educated guess. The one with the pink hair is Nicki Minaj. The chick wearing the possible lingerie parachute and or bulletproof armor thong. That's obviously Iggy Azalea or Lady Gaga. And the chick in the middle is the overweight Kardashian sister that dated Lamar Odom. We all in there. Robbery. Just put the money and the giant butt pants in a bag and nobody gets hurt. We don't have any giant butt pants. Oh! oh! Okay, okay, give them the giant butt pants. And uh! now, since we have y'all's attention, we're gonna shriek our latest singles into y'all's ear holes. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Just kill yourself oh, at I that point. It's okay. I bought some more pillows. That's sexy. I don't get it. I don't get I mean, it. What is the deal with women and pillows? Has anyone else noticed this? No. What? No one? Boo! I, I got three minutes of material on pillows. We Boo! don't want to hear it. This nigga dressed like Pat Sajak. We'll help you, Peter. But we're doing it Quagsbury rules. What's that? A woman, or in this case, a man, has to do anything I say, no questions asked. Anything, I promise. My dearest Lois, I've taken Quagmire's place as a Union soldier in the Civil War. Shortly after I arrived, they amputated my leg. Oh! I dared them to, and it was a big mistake. Oh! The other guy ah! in my tent is a wet, dead guy. Ah! Yours, Peter. <laughs> And I thought you guys would support me, like we all supported Joe on that road trip. Boy, I am stuffed. Oh, I forgot to mention, one of you guys has to be in charge of changing my diaper the whole trip. No. Why don't we all just switch off? Well, there will be other jobs for other people. No. Okay, I guess we should, like, draw straws or something. Actually, I've been observing all of you for the past few hours, and I choose Quagmire. What? Why me? You've got long fingers. And I feel like you wouldn't crack if things start to go south. Fine. How do I know when it's time? Well, I'll turn to you very sincerely, and I'll look you right in your eyes. And I'll say, Quagmire, I've got poopies. <laughs> now, Quagmire, I... You got poopies, I know. No, you're supposed to let me say it. Quagmire, I've got poopies. <laughs> We now return to Pirates of the Caribbean, where the sound guy put the microphone too close to Johnny Depp's jangling bracelets. Hold it right there, Sparrow. This is the day you will always remember. Ah! The day you almost caught ah! ah! What? I said, I've spent $65 million ah! on vacation home days. Ah! 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 All right, turn off that cheap celebrity slam. What the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. We now return to Pirates of the Caribbean, where the sound guy put the microphone too close to Johnny Depp's jangling bracelets. Hold it right there, Sparrow. This is the day you will always remember as the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. What? I said, I've spent $65 million on vacation homes and daytime wine. <laughs> ah! All right, turn off ah! that cheap celebrity slam. Ah! <laughs> I've spent $65 million on vacation homes and daytime wine. <laughs> A black person wrote those lines, man. That sounds like some shit I would do. Yep, there you go. Fireball? No, because I'm not a Skidmore freshman at a Lake George share house. Oh. Or am I? Man, Skidmore's the best. You said it, Pete. Race you to the raft? <laughs> You're on. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. But the water was too shallow. Bryce broke his neck and never walked again. This ah. put an end to off-campus drinking and lake house rentals. I was just fine. I landed on Bryce. Well, you got the right guy for that. I'm great at supporting people. On Mad Men, I was Christina Hendricks' bra. Joan, can you call a meeting of the partners? God Help damn. me! Too much is being asked of me! No, nah, fuck At that. At least you're there. I'm John Hamm's underwear. Why am I Elizabeth Moss's socks? Chris and I should switch. Yeah, let's switch. We're gonna switch. 
victory shall be mine. Ha! <laughs> That's what the baby used to say when I was your age. Shut up, Dad! I'm watching Rick and Morty! So... Does Mommy have friends over sometimes at night? Sometimes. Oh. It must be weird having only women come over to see Mommy. No, it's mostly men. Oh, it is. Oh, and you'd no. be comfortable telling that to a judge? Oh. Would you excuse me while I step into another room and celebrate like a girl in a rom-com who just got good news? Ah, the Sanguelto! My blood's thinner than water! Ah! If taking no. Sanguelto, please ah! refrain from dancing like in a rom-com, as nosebleeds may be permanent. And remember, most drugs are prescribed to you because a hot girl with a rolling suitcase gave your doctor a free pen. Yep, that's real. I'm getting that book, Peter, and it's for reading, not for killing spiders. Mm. Oh, don't worry, Lois. I got a better method for doing that now. Oh, I'm really excited you're humanely relocating me to outside your house. Oh, yeah, me and the fellas thought it was time. Oh, no. <laughs> Now return to the Talking Talking Dead, the show that talks about the show that talks about The Walking Dead. Okay, so what do we think about what they thought about stuff? It was awesome. Oh my god, it was so great how they thought that other show was so great. Yeah, totally. And that one part of the show where the guy was talking about that one part of the other show and how he didn't see that coming? I did not see that coming. This is just too much to process. I need an after show after this after show just to know what I just saw about what I just saw about what I just saw. I knew that fat man couldn't keep this up. He always buckles under pressure. Yeah, you're right. Like at that Billy Joel concert. Please don't just throw them over. Well, at least make sure all the liquids are gone, please, before you throw them. Oh. Oh. Smithers, who is that young go-getter? That's a character from another show, sir. Simpson, you say? Pretty much, sir. Coming this winter, actors who don't look familiar in shows you're pretty sure you've never heard of on networks you've definitely never heard of. First, it's The Marriage Man on Gigo Audience Prime Plus. Yep. Then, Frenemy on Gold Star. Oh and my don't God. forget the J. Tory Hampton Show on Trax. <laughs> Lump racist. Monkeys on Forge. Comeuppance on LFR America. Tattle Babies on Blitz Kids. <laughs> and Snapchatters on Perspire. <laughs> Who's watching them? Probably no one. <laughs> Are they comedies or dramas? We're not even sure. Turn your office water cooler into a modern day Tower of Babel. The Marriage Man! Love Buggy! 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 Love Wacky mugshot montage! There you guys are. I haven't seen you all day. Me and the not cops were watching Die Hard and not commenting on the believability of the police work. Could John McClane really foil a giant heist outside his jurisdiction and then just walk away and do zero paperwork? We don't know or care because we're not cops. And I got my law degree. I am now Cleveland J. Roman J. Israel, and I will be wearing wine-colored suits. You look crazy. Well, in his defense, the movie was set in the 70s, wasn't it? No, it's modern day. Oh, my stars. All right, everyone, that's lunch. I mean lunch. Sorry, it's my first day. I got a promotion at Blockbuster. <gasps> Glennard Quagmire, that is fantastic news. I know, right? You know how I always felt like I was stuck in second gear? Well, this is a new gear. Well, congratulations, Glenn. This calls for a fountain dance. Wow. No. I was the no. least graceful at fountain dancing. I just swung my arms and tried to fit in. It was senseless. We were in our clothes, for yep. God's sake. Everyone got wet. It was cold. Yep. You know, there were originally nine friends, but three of them died of pneumonia. Oh. I'm still haunted by Chad's shivering last words. Don't let Monica get Botox. <laughs> This is an outrage. In there. I'll send my entire army after them, led by my best warriors. Achilles! ACL! Get in here! <laughs> 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 
What? Helen has run off with Paris. We're going to get her back and burn Troy to the ground. What they did all this for a female? Okay. I had really a feeling this fortress would be impenetrable. So I've hired the finest builder in Greece to make us a giant wooden horse. We'll hide inside it. They'll take it in as a gift. And then we spring out and destroy the city. I call it the Trojan Horse. Well, that sounds great, but there's another door right here that's just beads. What? Yeah, just beads. See? Oh, boy. This... this is gonna be a difficult phone call. Let's go! Let's go! This needs to be done yesterday! Hello, Giant Horse Company. Pay on delivery. No deposit required. Can I help you? What?! Can you guys wrap this up? I see Peter coming with some kind of problem from the game. Quagmire, we agreed, and it was a two-hand touch, and then Chris hit me with one hand, and I said that didn't count, but he still wouldn't count the touchdown. So I drilled him in the head with the ball, and now he's not moving. He can blink his eyes, but nothing else. So is my dog still your dad? Uh, no. Chris, he said the touchdown counts. <laughs> Oh, no! It's all right, Stewie. Stay calm. This is why we have a house fire, Captain. Okay, when I read your name, please respond with a here. Griffin Mac. It's Meg. Sorry, looks like Mac. Griffin Liam. It's Lois. Again, please respond with here. Now, I know you're all wondering who is going to get the big promotion. And I'm proud to announce that person is... Me! Smarmy! Excuse me, where do I put this briefcase full of money? Uh, who are you? I'm president of Wine and Paint Night Incorporated. Lois Griffin just landed my account through her wit, charm, and professionalism. Is that so? Well, in that case, the big promotion goes to Lois Griffin! What can I say? I love my wife. It's my show. Why shouldn't this be me? Because I'm the funny one. Not on this show, you're not. Or am I? Ah, uh, I thought we had one more face. Hey, what's going on in that room? It's a focus group of Arby's executives watching us eat. Oh, no way. He ate People it! People will eat anything! Fifty bucks says the fat girl eats a third big beef and cheddar. Who's on it? Okay. I'll take that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, Don't buddy. Don't do Here it. Here she comes. All right, kid. Take your time. Yeah! yeah! I like the Olympics. Can you guys be the Olympics? Well, NBC hogs all the good sports, so we'll get stuck with the boring ones that the announcers always have to keep apologizing for. Welcome back to Pears Diving, and once again, we are so sorry for this. Brian, anything to add? No, just our deepest condolences to a bored nation. And we've got Lois down at the pool. Lois, anything? No, guys, just so sorry that any of this is happening. I, I mean, even once every four years seems like just way too much. <laughs> and they're up in the air, and now they're in the water. What is it again? A splash is bad? Uh, yep, I think so. Hey, guys, do you like beer but can't get drunk from beer? Then try new vodka beer. The can says beer, but inside is 12 ounces of carbonated vodka. And the best part is your wife will never know. Honey, I'm so proud of you. Cutting down to one beer a night. Take off your underwear. <laughs> she <laughs> don't know. <laughs> this family's <laughs> never shied away from a new challenge. <laughs> like when I was a spokesman for that perfume. Deschanel number five. Precious. Annoying. What? Twee. Hot, but not worth it. <laughs> Probably a nightmare in person. <laughs> Deschanel. A fragrance for when you want to smell like a 40-year-old toddler. And you, you're done. Clean out your locker. Kicked out? I'm totally screwed. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Around the park one more time, Bitterman. Peter, I'm not your chauffeur. Not for long with that attitude, Bitterman. <sighs> Ah, this is living, Bitterman. This set of wheels is even better than those talking cars on that commercial. Hey, how you doing there? Listen, uh, couldn't help but uh, notice you across the parking lot, and, uh, you know, you're, you're very attractive, and, uh, you want to go behind the Applebee's and do it? Huh? You want to just go have some dirty, stupid, insane parking lot sex? Chuck, it's me, Morty. Yeah, because we could- What? 
Yeah, they had me painted. Oh, no. oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. No. Hey, how do you think I feel? No, no, that too, but... It's not all about you, you Lori. know. oh my God, oh my what God. are you doing? I was doing? like a look birthday present for the kid or something like oh that, I don't know. Oh my God, look at you, you're, you're, you're hot. I know. I, I would have taken, you know what I would have done to you back there? Why didn't you yeah. say something earlier? I, had, I said all that stuff. Oh, God. Not, let's not rule anything out. No! I actually got the place shut down. I'm glad I was here for this, Brian. Hey, are you a big, fat bastard who loves eating at Outback Steakhouse but thinks the portions are too small? Well, good news, fat ass, because now there's the Outback Steakhouse Extreme. We don't have a bloomin' onion, we have a bloomin' pumpkin. You know what else we got? Elephant steaks, 50-pound elephant steaks. And why don't you wash it down with 40 ounces of malt liquor and ranch dressing, you fat what? Outback Steakhouse Extreme. Punish your toilet. That's okay. I guess I'll just drive there by myself. Punish your toilet. In my Jeep. Wait a minute, you have a Jeep? Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, family. Let's go do TV commercial driving meant for a professional driver on a closed course. Jeep, the toughest four-letter word on wheels. For the driver who doesn't like to stop going just because they've run out of road. Ow, my balls! Head out where I the real fun begins. Where the paved roads ah, come my balls. off. Potholes and bumps and ruts can come as they will. Jeep welded oh, right in the rear frame road. takes punishment in my large balls. doses and I'm comes safe back driving. for more. My balls! Ah. I'm sorry. When I'm around a pretty girl, I get all worked up like a kid watching a toy commercial. Kids, kids, kids! Shiny, gooey, stretchy, oh. fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Sticky, oh yummy, bouncy, fun! Hasbro's best thing ever! Fly it! Yeah! Toss it! Awesome! Swim it! Ah! Eat it! Whoa! Hasbro's best thing ever! Kids! Kids! Ah! It's so ah. awesome! I want it! Ah! <laughs> this Sunday, we ch kids, kids. Ah! <laughs> that must be one of EDP 445's job he hasn't been fired from yet. Sounds like something he's definitely said uh, in the privacy of his own masturbation room. Turn the Quahog Convention Center into a mud pit for the 28th annual Quahog Monster Truck Rally and Gun Show. See giant monster trucks, shoot at monster trucks, and best of all, you can smoke inside. See Bring the it. Ghost Rider while smoking inside. Bring Fire it. an AR-15 while smoking inside. Or just stand around and smoke inside. Seriously, we're cool with it. Throw your butts on the ground. We don't care. Watch real loud trucks and smell the smoke that reminds you of your dead alcoholic stepdad who you're glad is dead but still miss anyway. Rest in peace, Gene. Forget which beer can is your ashtray. And whenever you feel like it, shout racial stuff. You will not be the fattest person there. And if you are, get that shirt off. Come get your picture taken with Tila Tequila and smoke a cigarette with her. Spray soda on somebody. Punch a baby. Smoke inside. Loud trucks, guns. It's all happening at the Quahog Convention Center. So hold in all your farts till this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday parts. And what's next for Peter Griffin? Well, I'm starting tomorrow, I'm getting back out there. I already got an audition to be the caring dad for a Cheerios commercial. Hey, Dad. Yeah, bud? When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, I wanted to be a rock star. Why didn't you become one? Because of you, bud. I smiled at one girl in a cell phone store, and now here I am stuck eating cereal for dinner with a kid. You'll always be a rock star to me, Dad. You ruined my life. This is dark. I'm going to bed. Wow, that must have been in there a while. It's been weeks since I ordered from Hurry Up Shrimp. No. <sighs> Where the hell is this guy? I ordered that shrimp two hours ago. Uh-oh. Looks like you should have ordered from Hurry Up Shrimp. Hurry Up Shrimp? Well, that just sounds fast. On average, Americans spend upwards of 50,000 hours waiting for shrimp over the course of their lives. When I heard that, I thought to myself, why on earth don't these guys just hurry up? So that's just what we did. Come on, come on! No way this is the shrimp! Wow, it is! Hurry up shrimp, hurry up shrimp, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up shrimp! Not responsible for undercooked shrimp. Oh Ooh, I God. can't wait to meet the lunatic! I bet he's even weirder than that commercial I saw! Hey, is that that new butter substitute? It sure is. Is it true it has half the calories of butter or margarine with all the great taste? Yep. Can I have some? Get your own. Take that, you bitch! No! What the ah! hell? How'd ah! you like that? No! Hey, joke's on you, I have hepatitis. Ah! What?
And now, ladies and gentlemen, Sumo Tonight. Brought to you by Asian Tricks. Silly Wabbit, Tricks are for kids. You shall! Oh, oh. Oh. Ah, the ladies' room at Wimbledon. This must be the fanciest bathroom in the world. Uh-oh, looks like these are in use. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> what? Deuce. What? Oh, my what? God, maybe he did do it. You know, there are some bad people in this world. Hey, you don't got to tell me that. I learned that in Fight Club. All right, Stewie, what's the first rule of Fight Club? G-string underwear. What? No, it's don't talk about Fight Club. Oh, well, I really blew it. G-string underwear, talk to me about my Fight Club. God damn it. Peter, we have dinner with my parents that night. It's my mom's birthday. You have to be there. Lois, if you let me out of this, I will go to Meg's ballet recital in your place. Deal. Meg! You better not be wearing a dress! I did not go to the recital. Oh! Nobody uh, Maybe went. we were in over our heads. Like an announcer who knows nothing about his sport. He's got about 190 yards to the hole. Looks like he's going for his five iron. And those greens are playing very fast, so he's gonna have to use caution on his approach. Yeah, yeah. Jordan Spieth, of course, having a great tournament. He birdied this hole yesterday. Is that right? Wow. And he hits a great shot right on the green. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, how do you win golf? Ah! <laughs> That's funny because I don't know how people win golf. I've never played the game seriously. And you have four children. <laughs> four children. <laughs> four children. <laughs> four children. You're going to get offended sooner or later. Four children. <laughs> four children. Hey! Yeah! They belong to a woman. How can you tell? It's hard to explain, Watson. Women are mysterious. But don't ask me. Ask contemporary personality Oscar Wilde. I prefer a man with a future and a woman with a past. That's not oh, a woman. Splendid. Well said. Splendid. All right, let's get out of here before we're all arrested for the crime of bum fancy. Also, my band is playing tonight at an inconvenient time. It's six unshowered guys and a pale woman with a ukulele shouting hey in unison. No. Because that's what music is now. Hey! Ah, why is that good? Hey! Why does this what sound this? good? They just keep saying hey! I know, it's my favorite song. Fire! Eh, I get where he's coming from. That's why I never introduce you to my friends. What friends? Like the guys in my photography club. Dear Gary Glitter, Jeffrey Jones, and Jared from Subway, I feel like I'm the only one sending pics. I love all the positive feedback, but maybe you guys send a pic? Anyway, here's more pics. Never send Jared Fogel pictures. And speaking of that, is Jared Fogel ever getting out of jail or did he get a life sentence? Could y'all leave that in the description down below? I, I, don't, I don't know. Nice this time. Not like last year when we went to the Outback Steakhouse. But it's out, as in the gay way. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! Peter, please! He's our waiter! He's the only waiter we have! Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he ah! just needs a little time. Ah! Scott, I'm finally ready to hear the specials. Maybe you should put that off for a little while. You know, sow a few more wild oats. Oh, I've done enough of that, my friend. Especially after that raucous bachelor party trip you threw for me in Las Vegas. So, when do the strippers arrive? 1952. Ah! Ah! Just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, holy- Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! What? What? There's almost nothing left of him! And I just know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. That's him. Ah! Ah! Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, these two poor souls are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. That's real. That's real. We'll just have to roll up our sleeves and do the best we can. Like the men who built New York City. Mexicans? Men. Creating an entire subway system out of nothing is grueling, thankless, life-threatening work. But just remember, we're doing this so that one day, future commuters can be hassled by panhandlers and amateur breakdancers! 
What about public <laughs> masturbators? Especially <laughs> public masturbators. Now let's <laughs> go, Doc. Great. You won't regret this. When it comes to selling drugs, you and me will be a better team than the old lady's eyeballs on Downton Abbey. I'm looking way over in this direction. And I'm looking way over here. That way we can see all the awards flying at us. Here comes one now. This is really scary. Best cutaway. Harry Potter, no! Harry Potter, no! Don't do this to Harry Potter. Stupid Hallmark holiday anyway. Oh, hey, Bri. How's your night going? I hope Rupert and I haven't been too loud up there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're going to go all night. I thought they were having sex. What do you say, Peter? Yeah, it could be fun. And we haven't been on a date since I broke the Guinness record for longest nasal exhale at that Tina Fey movie. You're the baby mama? Well, that's no bueno. You know what, Brian? Forget it. We are done. You ruined this. We were a good team, like Ricky and the Flash. I love you, Ricky. I love you, The Flash. Stewie, I don't think that's right. Ah, I didn't see the movie. Yeah, no, I didn't see it either, but yeah, The, the Flash ah! was the name of her rock band. Ah, ah you saw it. Ah! Yeah, I saw How you gonna make that assumption you ain't even seen the movie, bro? That dude. Cleveland, did you know about this? Come on, Donna, let's pick up some gizzards and fried skins and head on down to the juke joint. Tonight, it's gonna be jumping. Hey, turn it up! And it was jumping. It really was. But I was banished to the sidewalk because I called one of the band guys a bad name. Yes, just look at our great city bustling with activity. Even the chimney sweeps are hard Turn at work. Up. It's all dirty in here. I don't care. Keep going. Ew. Shouldn't I wear some sort of protective suit? Why? Don't you trust me? No! I do. But our friend Bartholomew went in lots of chimneys in the 80s, and now he's sick. We now return to the Olympics. Ugh, it's so annoying. They always use football announcers for events they know nothing about. Speaking of footballs, I would like to let everybody know I've got a sale going on on my only toes. With every three feet nudes that you purchase at $76.45, you get a free piece of pizza that I took out of a pizza box after I just got done touching my feet to do the feet pictures. Come on down, bless Miss HD's only toe emporium. Three feet nudes and a slice of pizza that you do not want to smell before you put in your mouth. The players are ready to take the swimming field. And they're swimming! They well. appear to be doing the forward stroke. My neighbor has a pool. I'll take a dip if I know they're on vacation. Ah! It's neck and neck, ah! and it looks like Canada won! Oh, no, they're going back the other way. Ah! Ah! You're just jealous. Well, let's go to her place ah! and I'll show you. Sorry, today was y'all's cleaning day. Y'all want me to come back later? Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe, maybe another day. That's fine. I'll pull out. Just go easy. It really hurt on the way in. No! Ow! 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 ow. What? What is going on? I don't understand on? what that- What the fuck? Why haven't I seen this before? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't deal with this shit. We did everything together. Absolutely everything. As she tenderly unlaced her silken corset, Jennifer shuddered in anticipation of. Man, get to the, the damn fucking part. Ahead. Yeah, pull your titties out. You sure you're up for this? Oh, hell yeah. When I commit to something, I go all the way. Like when I had Kathleen Turner's voice. Good morning, guys. Peter, what's wrong with your voice? I got punched in the throat at the clam last night. Now I sound exactly like Kathleen Turner. I'm just gonna get my stromboli. Hey, get away from my stromboli, Kathleen Turner. Nah. Go ahead, I'm fine by myself. I'll just watch my Patrick Swayze movie and take a two full bath. Aw, oh, now I wanna be on that side. What the fuck? Well, that didn't work. Now to take a slidey toilet seat soaking wet dump. No, that's the worst. When you're in the shower and you're rinsing yourself off all lovingly and whatnot, but then you have to poop. What do you do? Do you cut your shower turn up in half? I say shower turn up because whenever I take a shower, I'm turning up. If you ever want to see me in my most naturalist of habitat, you got to see me in the shower, which I refuse to show 
unless you pay the fee. $39.99, you get to see all the me you, you don't want to. Wow. You fellas would really watch this place for me? No. Are you kidding? Running a bar is my dream. I mean, yes. Well, that and waking up a rooster. What? 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 Yeah! Ah! Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. What type of shit? From now on, if you want to tweet something, you do it the old-fashioned way. Write it on a piece of paper, staple it to a bird, and throw it out the door. Gotta staple it. Yep. Ah! Yep. Oh! Oh! Hey, do you follow Peter Griffin on Twitter? No. Why? Oh. Is he funny? No, he just throws dead birds on his lawn. It's awesome. Dude! I told you we could have a fun time, just the two of us. Fun's not over yet. Yep. Mm. Pull your titties out. Mm. There we go. Come on, let's get in the trunk. I filled it with water so we can do it hippo style. That's... Weightlessly, with my feet lightly scraping the bottom as we do it. Okay. What? Sexy, I guess. And in a hippo tradition, first we must eat a whole head of lettuce. Now, do you have the lettuce? I didn't know we were doing this. Did you bring the lettuce? Oh, no, I forgot. Ronald, I asked you to do one thing. Honey, honey, I brought the lettuce. I have never done sex hippo style ever since I've given myself to the Lord. But yeah, maybe hippo style is something I can look into because how do you even do that? Does it have to be in a trunk full of water? Nigga. She is something else. This must be how Ronald Reagan felt about Nancy. Nancy, will you make me the happiest man in the world by turning a blind eye to the AIDS crisis and ineffectually trying to warn young people about drugs? Yes! Oh, yes, Ronnie, yes! If you're too young, those are both things she did. Oh. I don't know, Stewie. If you ask me, the stock market's just a rigged game where the top 1% make out like bandits and regular people get hurt. Are you reading off a teleprompter right now? No. Ah! The prompter's down. What do we do? Brian, vamp. So, great to be in Quahog, Rhode Island today. That's why he's the best. You're right. Maybe I will give it a shot. Yeah, how awkward can it be? Can't be worse than waving at someone who doesn't wave back at you. Compared to the Navy, the Coast Guard is totally unprofessional and incompetent. Like that ancient Roman intern. This is Marcus. Today's his first day. He's going to be crucifying you now. He might want to use his hammer. Uh, sorry, I'm so bad at this. Relax, you're doing fine. That shit looked like an extremely awkward porno that I seen this one time. It wasn't gay, then women just never came, man. I watched that porno for like four hours straight, waiting for the women to show up, but they never did. I even rewinded it over, figuring that maybe I'd miss the women the 14 times I'd seen it over, you know? But they, the women never came, man. They never came. I'm the victim. I've never been to a millennial <laughs> funeral. Yeah, it seems in poor taste that they hired Keyboard Cat. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Some people right. say we're just a computer simulation run by a higher species. Is that true? It is. Oh. Oh, My guy shit. sucks. Want to trade guys for a little while? Oh, never mind. I'll stick with this pile of crap I already have. Now, because you can't stare at your phone anymore, enjoy a disturbingly loud clip of Jimmy Fallon on Cab TV. Did I get ready to lose all respect for Al Pacino when I force him to play a game meant for children? This. This is why Uber. Nerd. I have milked all the goats. Peter, all those goats are males. Well, the buckets are full and the goats are happy. I just hope word doesn't get around. Oh. I like good times. Oh. I don't care. I'm coming with you. Well, you're not going to sit with me. Oh, come on. If I don't, I'll get stuck next to that guy with the heavy hands. Hi, doggy. Mm. <laughs> Serves you right. And a baby. <sighs> I can't believe I might die like this. I always thought I'd go the way all dogs dream about. Slowly and at great inconvenience to my owners. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get you to the living room. Oh. Lois, wrap one of his walking to the car pills in roast beef and peanut butter. I'm going to hold his hips while he stands confused in front of the water dish. Go on, boy. Right there. Come on, boy. It's right there. It's what?
The reason why this is so funny to me is because my homeboy Charles, he has two dogs that are just like this. Their eyes are literally white and they bark and yell at everyone. They don't want to do anything they're supposed to do as dogs. It's hilarious because this is really what they're like. Oh, sorry. Sorry about this, Charles. I, I'm going to edit this out. Charles doesn't deserve this. He's a, he's a good person. But I do need to see this again. <laughs> I always thought I'd go the way all dogs dream about. Slowly and at great inconvenience to my owners. Come on, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Let's get you to the living room. Oh. Lois, wrap one of his walking to the car pills in roast beef and peanut butter. Yeah. I'm going to hold his hips while he stands confused in front of the water dish. Go on, boy. It's right there. Ah! It's really like this. It's really, Come on, boy. It's right really there. like this. It's water. You like it. Oh, no. Oh. There you go. You're doing it yourself. I'll ah. tell you something. If he were here right now, I'd kick his ass. Just like hundreds of dead journalists, I'm not afraid of Vladimir Putin. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Shit. Yes. <laughs> Must have got paid. I say, look, there's hotshot 20-year-old comedian Benjamin Hill. <laughs> no! That's oh, rape. That'll be funnier when he's older and slower. <laughs> Settle down, Brian. I'm sure life will be just fine without the internet. Maybe we can even go see that Amish comedian. Anyone here from the backfields of Pennsylvania, Ohio, or upstate New York? No. Then I have been Jebediah, son of Abner. Listen, you need to talk to Meg about her drinking. What? Why me? Because you're the one who told her to start going to these parties. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess it's just something I gotta deal with. Like the flush of a high-powered toilet. What the hell? What the Edgar, hell? Edgar, do you know anything about this? What? N no. Edgar? I was at Stanley Kaplan preparing for the ACT. Well, then I am sanguine. Huh? Aha! I hope so, but you never know. They're still pretty mad at me down at Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, what's the name of this place? Dick's. And, and what's that say on your shirt? Dick's. Can I have two balls and a helmet? Hey, you're the guy from the phone. <laughs> Stop the car, Chris. Did you get him yet? We got him. Oh, so suddenly it's a crime to break the law? Mr. Quagmire, you're free to go, but the rest of you will have to come with me. I thought we had it bad being gay overhead bins. What makes us gay? We've got bags in our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that at full volume in front of our children. I can't tell if they have a really good marriage or a really bad one. I feel like it's weird but strong, like Danny Trejo. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. <laughs> to him, we're about as useless as one of those automatic bathroom sinks. Yeah, that should be useless as hell. Bruh, it really be like uh, that! Uh, it's really like that! Bruh! Uh, Bruh! Yep. 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 What the hell are you doing? This is a women's bathroom. Yep. Yep. <laughs> this can't be it. This doesn't look familiar. You're right, Brian. Apparently, this is a universe where everyone has to take a poop right just now. <laughs> Okay, uh, Bill, you got those numbers? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just leave them on my desk. Okay, that works out fine for me. Where's your desk? Doug knows where my desk is. Craig, are you good with this? Yeah, that should work out pretty good for me, too. Oh, my God, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! It'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! Jeez, you're a bigger downer than a German bedtime story. There once was a boy who liked to suck his thumbs. His mother asked him to stop, but he wouldn't. So she cut off his thumbs. Now oh. he has no thumbs. Good night. Oh. Oh, you're just going to pretend I'm not here, huh? Just like Robin Williams' agent pretends he's still funny. Hello? Hey, Phil. It's Robin Williams. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. I just wanted to make sure the meeting is still on for 2.30 tomorrow. Otherwise, I got to go to that Chinese dentist. Get it? 2.30? <laughs> you son of a bitch. I had a mouthful of coffee. God, you were funny. And that is real. Holy smokes, this is a sure thing. Like the end of a Mexican wedding. Be careful you don't fall off that ladder. Not all dogs go to heaven. So, says here you're involved in the plotting of September 11th? Well, that's what they get for supporting Israel. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Gosh. Okay, into the eternal pit of fire you go. <laughs> Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. It's a solo set a course for- One moment, Captain. They're about to announce the winning numbers for the intergalactic lottery. Today's winning numbers are 18, 24, 41, and 72. Ah, yes! You're damn right! Hell yeah! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can suck it! You can all suck it! Live long and suck it! Oh, by the way, Meg, I forgot to tell you, your grandfather needs you to pick him up at the airport. Ugh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Why are we watching TMZ? I hate this show. Keep watching. So what do you got? I got Richard Dreyfus coming out of the bathroom of his nephew's play in Rhode Island. Richard! Hey, Richard! Hey, can I get your autograph? <sighs> fine. You have a pen and paper? What do I look like, a Staples? I don't carry that stuff around. Uh, look, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, what, you too big and famous to walk over to that corner drugstore and pick up a pen and paper and possibly some other groceries I need and come back and sign several things for me? You're a jerk! You didn't see anything. Remember that, or I'll ruin you. Okay, okay, I promise. I'll be as quiet as a church mouse. Hey, Billy, I was gonna have a party at the rectory this evening. Do you like sacramental wine and mouse Russell Crowe movies? Oh, boy, do I! Hey, can my sister come? No! She'd ruin it! Yeah, it's what kids do on Halloween. They, they dress up in costumes and they go around asking for candy. How do you not know about trick-or-treating? Well, how do you not know that your reflection in the patio door isn't another dog? Hey! That guy's a dick. Hey, get out of here! This is my house! Oh my god, Brian, what happened? Who did this to you? Did you do this, you son of a bitch? Because when you get there... You may find out it isn't what you thought it was, and I wouldn't want you to be disappointed. That's it? That's your reason? Boy, you know, you know why nothing works out for you, Brian? Because you've got a negative attitude, like Eeyore. Come on, Eeyore, let's go play. I don't feel like it. Why are you always in such a bad mood? I have a nail in my anus. Oh. <laughs> Millions are saved every year by the program. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem, performed this afternoon by Peter Griffin and his dirt bike. Northside face! Lois, that's terrible. Yeah, my day was even worse. I got pegged by a new form of spitball. Ugh, got pegged. We now return to a later season episode of Family Ties. Elise, have you noticed how puberty has changed Jennifer? Shh, keep your voice down. I have a date with my boyfriend. Well, uh, have fun. You are to gather grapes for wine and prepare victuals for my return. As of today, I'm stepping down as mayor and leaving Quahog forever. Because of Carol? That's right. I've decided to move to Alaska and become an Eskimo. Alaska? But that's so far away. And the summers are so short. Yay! Summer's here! Awesome! Best summer ever! Let's stay friends! I lost my virginity! Yeah, right. To who? You don't know her. I met her at camp. Oh, yeah. I took the liberty of replacing your old one with a new American-made coffee machine. In fact, I got you a bunch of new top-notch American-made stuff. What else did you buy? Oh, a couple things. That light fixture. New heat regulator on your stove. 
your man bra, your garbage disposal, your dishwasher, and your new cat. This is my first Halloween, and, and, and it's ruined. Sorry, I'm done. You want your kid to sit on my lap? Meet me at the bar at Applebee's. What? Oh, that sucks. Sorry, Stewie. That son of a bitch. He just turned his back on me, the way reality turned its back on Gary Busey. How am I doing today, Gary Busey? You're doing great. Good. Then I'll keep it up. Hey, how, how come we're the only animals with poo that's white? I know. What the hell? Right? We're not we're not eating white stuff. Hey, you want something good? Just look for the containers that say KFC on them. There's always something good in there. Dude, that's birds in there. You're e you're eating another bird. What? That's bird meat, dude. Oh. W what? No. You're eating a bird. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it's a lot easier than high school, I'll tell you that. Well, how do you mean? High school's like Lord of the Flies. It's a social nightmare. And I hear Canadian high schools are even worse. Well, well, look who matriculated to grade nine. Someone wants to get into university. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm sorry. Well, you're going to be sorry when we put you in the hospital for free, eh? Uh oh Peter, I need you to pick up the dry cleaning. Here's the ticket. It's the Chinese one over on Elm. All right, well, I need my other white shirt back anyway. This one's getting kind of smelly. And if I wore another color, I think it would just throw people. You only have two white shirts? Well, I had a third one, but it got ruined at that wine tasting at Michael J. Fox's house. I really like the finish on this Shiraz. No! Son of a bitch, what is your problem? No! Now listen very closely, because here's how it's going to go down. Guys, guys, planned. guys, I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I think that was me. All right, let's do it. Both of you are oh. under arrest for prostitution. It's not prostitution. You paid her to have sex. No, I paid her to have sex and we're filming it. So technically it's not prostitution, it's a porno. Yep. Oh, well, as long as you're filming and selling it, it's legal. Enjoy your day. Remember, kids, she's not a whore if she's an actress. This has been a message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> oh. Peter, for God's sake, you're always an embarrassment at the table. Uh, you should have seen him when we had dinner with Paul McCartney's ex-wife. He kept playing footsie with her under the table. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry! Oh. Now I know how Peter feels when Mort steals his paper. Come on. That's right, you bastard. Stop right there! Give me the paper! No! No, don't hurt me, you bastard! Mort, give me the paper! Man, I'd have kicked him in that shell right in the shell of his ass. And if that wouldn't work, we would have put some shells in his ass. Hey, there's Renee Zellweger. Hey, Renee, how you doing? Oh, hi, Brian. Oh, no. Why does that really look like her, though? Lois, where is my Red Bull? Peter, I got rid of it. Why the hell would you do that? It was making you crazy, and it's not good for you. That's why I poured it all out in the garden. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Official flower business. <coughs> I don't know who this is, but you better cut it out. I'm a cop, you know. Oh, what, are you going to report me on your can't walkie-talkie? I'm going to hang up now. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I got three more of these I wrote on a napkin. Ugh, all right, three more. We now return to the Brady Bunch. See, look, here's what you used to see. Good night, Mike. Good night, Carol. And here's the stuff you missed. Oh! No! No! What? Wow, you sound crazy nervous. In local news, there was a hit and run by a drunk driver today at Quahog Park. Two children are missing. <gasps> I was just there. Carol, what are you doing? Are you crazy? You can't just jump right back in it. Lois, this is my life, and this is what I want. I will marry you, Mayor Adam West. Oh, great. I can't wait to tell the gals of my singles group.
Ah, oh, come on. This is the goal, isn't it? <laughs> but we've got to stop Bertram. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Brian. I'll come up with something. Remember, I'm a genius, like Thomas Edison. Thomas, what are you doing? Experimenting. No! All right, class, this course is going to cover all the significant moments in human history. Starting with the settling of the Old West, where brave pioneers survived against long odds. Honey, I have to go into town to get some supplies, so I'm probably going to die. But if I don't, I'll see you in 18 months with a canvas bag of salt and a tin of whale fat for the children. I've dug graves out back for all of you in the likely event that you too shall perish. You were a good man, Abraham. Please scrawl that on a rough-hewn piece of wood in my honor. I shall. For crying out loud, Brian, read my book. Judge for yourself. I'd sooner spend a night watching European porn. Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Blurba! 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 My book! Judge for yourself! I'd sooner spend a night watching European porn. Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! Snark! Bravo! The reign of Henry VIII. Did you enjoy what I just did for you, sire? Yes, very much so. Wow, when this is over, I am definitely keeping her head. Boy, Carol's lucky to have a sister like Lois. You're telling me. I always wanted a brother or sister, but instead I got a broster. Hey, Peter, you want to see my paginas? No. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Ah! Joseph Smith discovering the Book of Mormon. Oh, an old Con Ed bill. I mean, a New Testament of Jesus Christ, everyone has to sleep with me. What? And no dancing! Dude, I need to come up with my own religion. The sauce of life is inside of this di uh... They had to close their eyes and suck it out of a tube. A small tube, but a tube nonetheless. Look at that tree bent to keep growing toward the sun. Anyway, I'm Joe, and I don't do a lot of these. That's true. Boy, wouldn't you like to know what those little guys are saying? Welcome what? to beautiful Burbank, California, home of more year-round Halloween stores than any other city in the world. Do you what? like Jack in the Box? Then you're in luck. We've got six of them. If you've ever wanted to visit a place where you can hear the freeway from literally every spot in town, then Burbank is for you. Want to do drugs in an empty swimming pool with a couch in it? Want to yes. see what you imagine an affluent neighborhood in Honduras looks like? You can do what? all of that and so much more in Burbank. Wow! Welcome to the roast portion of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, my son, Chris. Born on the highway, because that is where most accidents happen. Hey, da. But we're here to talk about Brian getting another year. Bruh, I almost just spit all my water directly into the camera, bro. Born on the freeway, because that's where most accidents happen. What the hell? You can't say that type of shit year older. You know, I hear he can't even bury a bone these days without Viagra. And they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but I heard Brian just learned how to roll over and beg for an erection. Peter, I'm fine. Are you sure this isn't about you not being able to perform on your anniversary? I told you that in confidence! Wow! And a one, two, three! Uh-oh. What? My pride stuck in the pants. Well, get it out. We've got a show to do. I thought that was poop. I thought that was poop. No! You just killed all of your fans. They all died. <laughs> you killed them all. Happy ah! Halloween, Meg. Wow! Wow, Mayor West. That's some no! costume. Well, thank you kindly. It a me, Borat. No! The children! You know, from that picture Borat. You ever seen it? Yeah, that movie came out like 15 years ago. Well, no! I've never heard of it. But it was just about the funniest thing I've no! ever seen. Anyway, no! have a good evening. Bye! No! Bye. Stop! No, you can't do Dr. this! Dr. Hockman, you said there was very little risk to LASIK, but now I am blind. How did this happen? Oh. Okay, look, this isn't my fault. It was take your cat to work day. My skinny legs, here I come. Good morning. Are you ready to sweat? 
I woke up sweating. Okay, let's climb this hill. I want to impress you, but also see if I can peek down your sports bra. Yes. Ow! Yes. Ow! Ow! My yes. balls! Oh, the other ones. Ow! 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 Penistality. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think Peter hurt his balls. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Must have been at a frequency only dogs can hear. And you know what's right around the corner? The strip club where they spit in your face? No, the dog park. Yeah, how do you like how this sounds, huh? Try cleaning up this mess while you're burning hell. Peter, are you what? ready to go? Almost. What did William Hoover do? But what do you oh. mean you don't like that? Just try it. Maybe you will. I'm stuck up here. Better use my emergency flare. Yeah, you're dead, man. What? What the hell? That's not a we good flare, flare for emergencies. Yeah. I'm still stuck, but now I have confidence. Nigga, what is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? The worst thing about that joke is the only reason why I laughed is because I said it out loud. Because my brain heard what it sounded like. And when I said it, it was funny. It was like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, why am I making bisexual man sounds like nigga? That's. <laughs> We gonna edit all of that out, man. <laughs> you will. I'm stuck up here. Better use my emergency flare. We've got a flare. Oh, we got a flare. Yeah. I'm still stuck, but now I have confidence. Men, tonight you will have one last night of peace. I won't lie to you. A hotel guest has no regard for your life. At okay. least some of you will not be coming back. Those who do will never be one color again. Now, here are your assignments. Anderson, yes. your late night vomit. Russell, you'll be in the yes. ladies' room. Ooh. Yes. All right, knock it off. At ease. Edwards, you're going to be folded into a monkey at the foot of the bed and then Ooh. on. Look at Edwards. He's into it. Ooh. At ease. Oh, also, you can have my penis enlarging machine. It's in my closet. I got six of those. Someday it'll work. <laughs> We gonna edit that out. Ha ha, you wanted it because you needed ah, it. Did you look? <laughs> did, did, you, did you text me if you looked? <laughs> That's really <laughs> sad. Oh, you can do it, Stewie, for sure. Free your foot, and together we will bump wieners. But it's stuck, Norwegian mid-level model girlfriend. Oh, just Where? untie your shoe is how. Oh, duh. The fuck? Stewie, when will you free me from this thought bubble hell? Not for a while. I may need you if I run for office. Happy Halloween, kids! Happy Halloween! Costume. Look, it's Matt Foley from Saturday Night Live! I don't know who that is. I just came from a meeting at work. Oh, good see that you're home. You can help me pass out candy. Sorry, Lois. I have to go do a dangerous speedball and become the least surprising death in Hollywood history. <clears throat> what the hell? Ooh, shit. <laughs> You're not taking this from me, bitch. <laughs> Suck it, Bon. <laughs> I hope that mascara burns your eyes out. How's that cheap wine headache? Uh huh. Go roll and dirt, you pig. Your hair dye stinks. Tell your, your daughter to stop, stop watching me change. Peter, go cut her power. Oh. Hey. Hey. Perhaps Slytherin, or maybe Hufflepuff, uh, or trans women aren't really women. Wait, what? I mean, uh, the first two things. Okay, who's the next girl or boy? There's only those two. You're gonna hate me, but I really need to take this. Don't you oh! dare! But it might be Bruce Lee finally calling to admit that I'm the best at Kung Fu! This is your one chance, Stewie. I will not call you a second time. Damn it! I'm sick of being one-upped by Doug. Hurts. Hurts worse than a trip to the barber shop. Ah! Ah! This is what babies think happens at haircuts! Peter, tell me it wasn't you. Honestly, Lois, I have no idea. My brain can't even think thoughts no more because of the internet. Oh, that's it. From now on, you are an outside, Peter. Go on, get outside. That's racist. Bitch, you can't put me outside, bitch. Go I pay the bills, bitch. Go to your Peter house. Peter house? Bitch, I ain't going to no 
no penis house, bitch. That's what penis stand. That's what penis stand for. Okay, that's one drywall bit, one masonry bit, one spur point bit, one tile bit, one drill with a hammer action setting, one wire detector, one stud finder, and one grease pencil. <sighs> Sounds like someone's drilling a hole in the wall to watch girls shower. Oh, big time. Did you pull a permit? City Hall's next. Nice. nice. It's my new pitching machine, Lois. And look, it can turn our car into a silly tank. Watch me nail Cleveland. I got one too, bitch. Peter, what are you doing? Well, you know how you told me to give up the 80s and find a whole different decade to be into? No, that's not what well, I... Well, I'm doing the 1920s. Not because of legal cocaine, but mostly because of legal cocaine. <laughs> Time to design a very stupid flying contraption. Wow, I just did you do the cocaine plane. Cocaine in front of us. plane. No, cocaine plane. There's no way that goes down. Got me. God dang it. Uh -oh. What's your problem? Why are you being such a jerk to me? My problem with you? Let's see, where do I begin? You accept food, clothing, and shelter, yet no responsibilities. You constantly want to sleep with my wife, who is an angel. Oh, and the hypocrisy. You claim to be an ally to women, but I bet you don't even know Nancy Pelosi's official title. What? Yeah, I do. She's, uh, Chuck Schumer's secretary. Forget it, Brian. Now, can you strap me to this milking table? My wife will be home soon. Milking table? What? Milk what? Oh, I get it. Okay. No, I'm lying. I don't. What milk what? <laughs> Put down in the comment section down below. What What are they milking? And why do they have to milk it? Why not just ask it to release the... You're all nasty for thinking I was thinking nasty. I thought things would go back to normal after we traded underwear yesterday. What? What? Okay, you go in there, kill Miss T, and we'll sneak out the back. You need a weapon or anything? She's a cat. I'm a dog. I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It went poorly. Giggity morning, everyone. Lois, can I see you in the other room for a second? Sure. All right. <laughs> Peter, what would you like for breakfast? Chocolate chip pancakes. Lois, can I see you in the other room for a second? <laughs> Yeah, sure. Lois, can I see you in the other room for a second? I couldn't perform a third time. Hey, happy <laughs> birthday, Brian. Bonnie and I got you a big stick. Uh, Joe, isn't that the same stick we gave you for your wedding? You told me it was a magic wand. I pointed it at a bus. The bus crashed. That's all I'm saying. Well, fellas, I'm off. Old Joe's got a big stake out this week, so I'm going to practice by watching the party from across the street. <laughs> Those who doubt the wand's power suffer the wand's wrath. What? Now that's how I became Quahog's first ninja cup. Stewie, you got a letter from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh, my God, they've accepted my application. I'm going to get my final wish granted. I get to meet the Philadelphia Flyers mascot, Gritty. Gritty, what? Gritty, Gritty. I'm not going to pee in a cup for you, so stop asking. This was supposed to be my day, and you're ruining it. What? No! <sighs> You'll Venmo me for this, too, I suppose? Mr. Lloyd! <laughs> what is going on in here? <gasps> Ow! Ow! Ah! Sorry. I had a very good rotation guy work on this. Ow, though! Ow! 
please stop! Sorry, sorry. I, I don't know what to say. I'll call a guy. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Hey, Brian, check it out. <sighs> this might be my biggest candy score ever. Probably thanks to my killer costume. What are you Some mighty fool sack you got there, little guy. <laughs> Oh, some Herbert the Pervert type shit. <laughs> what are you dressed as? I'm the oh my god reaction gif. And people get that? Yeah, everyone's dressed as gifs. Ain't that right, Pop? <laughs> that got for the Oh, they sure do grow up fast, don't they? Chris, have you masturbated today? <laughs> no, ma'am. Well, get up there. And don't come back till What's you for dinner? Hey, oh. who knows? Maybe someday they'll make a movie about us. This summer, don't miss Jungle Jim Mountain, starring Chris Pine as Doug. What? And Paul Giamatti as Stewie. Come on! Help! I crap my pants and I'm afraid of heights. I'm out of here. And Chris Hemsworth as Thought Bubble Girlfriend. Ooh. I'll give it a shot. Long days, short years, huh, oh, Meg? Chris, masturbate! Jerk! To put that into context, men, before you ever make a questionable sexual decision, just rub out that easy one. You know what I mean? And then think about, you know what I mean? I swear to God, it's always different. Get ready to smash a homeless dude down at the Walmart three miles away from where I live at. And instead, I decide to go into the Walmart, into the bread aisle, you know, because I'm not a weirdo, rub it out right into the sourdough. Stick it to the man. No homo, but you know, still it's pretty stick. You know, it's everywhere. Then go outside and then decide not to bone the homeless dude not because I had clarity of mind from squeezing out that easy one, but because I'd been arrested for beating my meat in the bread aisle of the Walmart down the street. Turns out they got cameras in the Walmart. Want to get your car washed by a former Nickelodeon star? Want to take an improv class from an instructor you have to drive home after? You can, in Burbank. Buy a house with a second floor no one got permits for, and then watch the 98-degree winter nights tick by through rusty bars on your windows. Share a duplex with that guy from That Thing. Pay L.A. prices for Orlando amenities in Burbank. <laughs> Uh-oh. Stand back. The pitching machine is the only plumber we'll need. So you're not interested in having sex with Kevin Spacey? Oh, good. Kevin's going to love that. Dad, Dad, I, I think I mixed up Mayor West's bag with Bruce and Jeffrey's. Leather chap, flannel, bull whip, rope, sheriff's badges, saddle bags, saddle soap, fancy boots. Yep, this is ours. Okay, remain calm. I've done this before. Oh, no, no, wait, no, wait, I know this. Okay, remember your medical training. If a patient no! chokes on food, do the tummy squeezy move. Yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> oh, you, you saved my life. Oh, how can I ever repay you? Money? These kids have their teeth. <laughs> and where are their pacifiers? <laughs> they have a sleep. I gotta see that again. <laughs> okay, remain calm. I've done this before. Yeah. Oh, no, no, wait, no, wait. Yeah. I know this. Okay, remember Fuck your medical up. training. If a patient chokes yeah. on food, she do the tummy squeezy move. Yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, you saved my life. How can I ever repay you? 
money. <laughs> My god, these kids have their teeth! And where are their pacifiers? How do they ever sleep? Detention kids are scary, especially that fourth grader writing on the board. It's a pleasure to work for the Disney Corporation. <laughs> oh, that is such a load of truth. A wonderful load of truth. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I just came to clear the search history off my computer before the IT guy... Oh, uh, he's already got it. Boy, you're really all in on Asa Akira. Way off, pal. This is the only place I can masturbate. I can put that whole detention... We all are all in on Asa Akira. All in. <laughs> on Asa Akira. Way off, pal. This is the only place I can masturbate. I can put that whole detention experience behind me and just live. Whoa. Yep, so that's how your granddad got his back tattoo and hepatitis. Never share a needle with Ben Affleck. How did you and other granddaddy meet? That's a story for when you're older. The kids at school were asking if you're a bottom or a top. They should not be asking that. They said if that was your answer, then you were a bottom. Who are these f kids you're talking to? I would like to have a word with their attractive fathers. Spirit Airlines is now boarding group whatever. Just start punching until you're on an airplane. Oh, someone's in here. That's... no. 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 Whoa, did we get that European exchange student I saw on TikTok? No. Hey, little man. Lewis? <laughs> well, Stewie, you've completed your detention. What have you learned from this experience? That your mother's a whore? Hey, you want to end the show with a to-be-continued meme? I, I don't even know what that... No! Ah! Peter, come on, get dressed. We're late for church. I don't want to go to church. I always feel like that priest has it in for me. Yeah. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Butt of Christ. Ah, Lois, trade me. No. Do you like crab? There's a knockout crab place right around the corner. The hell are you doing? I'm using my knowledge of the local food scene to get this woman to go to bed with me. Well, now we know. I can taste what he eats. Jeez, I don't know what's going on with him. But I guess love does funny things to people. Look at Forrest Gump. Hi, Forrest. I know you just got back from Vietnam and you love me, but I'm going to go run a train with this group of Black Panthers I just met. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. I know you came all this way to New York to visit me, but I'm gonna go do blow and have sex with a bunch of stockbrokers. Okay, Jenny. Hi, Forrest. Now that I have the most contagious and incurable disease known to mankind, I'll finally have pity sex with you. Okay, Jenny. And I'll mow the grass and raise the AIDS, baby. Yeah, pretty much. Female nature animated right there. And women can do anything nowadays. I guess you're right. But it's not like it's the 1950s. So, I see you graduated number one in your class from Princeton. That's right, and I'm certified as an accountant and also have a law degree. That's all very impressive. We'll keep you in mind. Let's see. Pointy <laughs> boobs, medium pointy boobs, not so pointy boobs. Not so pointy boobs. That's a shame. No boobs. <laughs> this is just one of no those titty. things he won't let up with. Like when he no was guest titty. hosting inside the actor's studio. Jeff Daniels, what is your favorite Care Bear? I, I, I don't know any of the Care Bears. Right, but if you had to pick one, who would be your favorite? Well, like I said, I'm not really familiar. You can just say the color. I know all the Care Bears. I, I don't know. The blue one. There's like 11 blue ones, Jeff. Are you here to dick around or you want to do inside the actor's studio? Do you know what I did last week? I time-traveled ahead to Christmas so I wouldn't have to wait all year for the new toys to come out. Wow, good timing, little fella. This just came out today. Uh, yeah, I kind of knew that already. Would you like to donate an extra dollar to the Quahog Food Bank? Oh, sure. And would you like to come home and clean my toilet while we're both doing stuff for each other? No. All right, fellas. Open mic at the library. Your first gig. Go get them. Hey, do I have time to get a drink at the water fountain where the water does not crest above the dispenser? Sure. No. That, it really used to be like that, too. I can taste the previous person's mic? cough. How you gonna play oh open mic God, at the library? Play, boy, we're on our way! We gotta celebrate like girls in their 20s! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Oh my god, we are so random. The nerve of your dad taking the fun out of Christmas like some kind of gluten-free Santa. Hey, hey, what's in these? I'm okay if it's like coconut flour, but anything with actual grains, I can't do. I'm not sure. Well, who is sure? Well, maybe I can stir up some quail or pheasant with my patented bird calls. Birds, quail, pheasant! Come on out, I'm a bird of the opposite sex who's interested in mating! <gasps> Did you hear that? We're gonna get laid! Peter, what are you doing? I'm watching this awesome show, Brian. See, they took all these colors, and they're making them all live together in a beach house. Now, the red one is sleeping with the green one, and the blue one thinks he's gonna have a career in music, and the yellow one is just a total bitch. Peter, that's just a channel that's gone off the air. And we'll be right back with more Color Bar Beach House after these messages. Oh. Ah, uh, this is my favorite part of the game, when two drunk guys, each holding a baby, get into a fist fight. You're stupid! No, you're stupid! Oh, now their wives are getting into it. They're gonna put their cigarettes in their mouths and bump boobs. You got no class, you bitch! No, you got no class! And now here comes security to kick out the wrong person. Come on, Miyagi, take that karate outside. <laughs> we did it! Oh, man, this is my biggest accomplishment <laughs> since my 1920 solo flight across the Atlantic. Viva Pierre Griffon! Incroyable! Don't look in there. Don't look in there. It's all craps. All right, we got to put toilets in these things if we're going to be in them for more than two hours. That's real. Uh, Chip, I am going to show you all kinds of cool stuff. My Hot Wheels, my lawn darts, even my new musket. Peter, what the hell are you doing? Lois, I thought I heard a noise downstairs. Go stall him for 20 minutes and pray that it's not too damp in here. <laughs> all right, this is my home, and a man's home is his castle. <laughs> halt, wench! State oh. your business. Peter, will you please put down the drawbridge? I got a car full of groceries. Mm -hmm. Anything else? I also went to the video store and got Garfield, a tale of two kitties. <laughs> Trust me, you should take my advice. I mean, I'm the guy who told Michael Chiklis to wear tight shirts. I'll tell you anything you want. Just get your boobs out of my face. You know the difference between you and me, dirtbag? No matter how muscular I get, I will never be muscular. Now, the Catholics believe that as long as you accept Jesus before you die, anyone can get into heaven. Really? Anyone? I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior! Yes! It's supposed to stick together, like goatee guys at a barbecue. Do you mind if I stand next to you while we eat standing? No problem. Hey, let's go grab some good beer, even though we brought the bad beer. And these two barbecue scumbags formed a lifelong friendship until their deaths at the ripe old age of 52 in separate ATV accidents. That's pretty. Now you guys don't know nothing about staying up late. I used to pull all-nighters when I worked for that lesbian carpet cleaning company. Lesbians have regular carpets too, you pervs. When you're done with that, can you help me plug the hole in this dike? Oh, God. I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Hey, help me fix this gash. Somebody's been having scissor fights on this thing. God, I can't get any peace and quiet in this house. Well, now you know how I felt at Mardi Gras. Hey, keep it down. Trying to get some sleep up here. Show us your boobs. Oh. My boobs? I, I don't think I... Oh, my jewelry. Well, I wonder what I'll get for showing this. The rules of this city are very unclear. <laughs> yeah, Trust like me, that. Mom, I know what I'm doing. That's what your father said before he took that walking tour of Providence. This is where a homeless man ate the finger of another homeless man. This is where some teenagers beat a gay guy to death. This building used to be Irish. Now it's Cambodian. And this is where fake tour guides throw rocks and steal tourists' wallets. Oh, yeah, I read about this part on Yelp. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh, I did it! I'm back! Oh, damn it, I left my chapstick in the past. So, as you can see, the fiscal the projections fuck? for the fourth quarter make this thing a slam dunk. Any questions? Not about my cow waters. All right, then, looks like we got ourselves a deal. This is cause for celebration. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I don't care. I'm not driving. Peanut, the map is a joke. You're being played for a fool, like George McFly. Hey, Lorraine, whatever happened to that guy Marty from high school? Don't know. Never saw him after the prom. Really? Sure you didn't run into him, Mo, oh, say, about 16 years ago? George, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that our son, who you insisted we name after that guy Marty, looks exactly like him. You think I'm an idiot? That I wouldn't notice that our son is a dead ringer for the guy who fixed us up? Mom, yes. Dad, I accidentally set fire to the living room rug. I am not going easy on him. <laughs> <laughs> that's too realistic. <laughs> well, that stuff sounds exhausting. I'm just being honest, like George Washington. George, did you chop down our cherry tree? I cannot tell a lie. Yes. And what is this pamphlet I found under your bed called the Boston He Party? <laughs> Not mine! <laughs> God, I'm so nervous. Thank God Stewie's too little to understand. Look at him over there playing that board game. Ah, three. Okay, one, two, sorry. Sorry, the board game that teaches you to be a dick. Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. I'll take any help I can get. I haven't been this scared since my dad stopped showering for six months. Great meatloaf, Mom. Thanks, honey. Hungry! Hungry! Pour food on my pile! Okay, Peter. Here you go. <sighs> I will assimilate this new smell into the larger Borg of my smells. Boy, Stewie was really upset about the Christmas carnival being canceled. He's been acting out all week. I'm sure he'll be over it in no time. Besides, how much trouble can he cause? He's a baby. <laughs> oh. You sure you don't want to stay for the show? Nah, this place gives me the creeps. Like when I went to that pedophile opera. We are proud to present Mozart's The Magic Flute in A Minor. Wow! And you still won't give us an Emmy? Come on! If Modern Family did that joke, you'd be carrying them around on your shoulders. Wedding DJ florist? Because, Chris, it takes time to plan a perfect wedding. You don't want to jump the gun. You know, like when you respond to a text too quickly. My mom's going to be reading to the 12 of her short stories. We now return to VH1's Behind the Music. Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. It must have been around 1979 when animals started snorting crushed up pieces of felt. Got pretty ugly. Me had big problem before me found God. He like threw me down and he said, I hope your puppeteer has big hands because I'm not using lube. Me no remember that, but me believe it happened. All right, Peter, I'm leaving. Bonnie invited me to the shooting range. What? Yeah, Bonnie says she goes every week. <laughs> I think next time you should bring someone else. You see, my wife thinks I'm an idiot. She's always making me feel small and insignificant, like John Goodman's heartbeat. Honey, my inside left boob stomach did that thing again. You mean your heart? Um, I don't know about any of that, but I think I should eat something. Oh, look, you can go to Oral Roberts. Oh, and there's Anal Roberts. Yeah, boy, that is a tough, tough place to get into, Lois. That is tough. But once you're in there, you'll be surprised how much you like it. This is great, Dad. I know. I'm having even more fun than when I... I mean, than when we went Fiona apple picking. Meg going to college. You know, I always thought she was going to be one of those ladies who wears a jean jacket and hangs out at the bar in a chain restaurant. Hey, you know you can get a slice of pineapple in your burger here. Hey, Jimmy, another water. Call Miller Light water. Jimmy knows me. He knows that. Come on, hockey team! This one's on me. Merry Christmas, Meg. All right, but you need to cool down first, Lois. Find a way to channel your anger. What I do is throw a shot put into a crowd and make it look like an accident. Oh! I forgot to make it look like an accident. Oh, these guys are a little sharper than my old family. I still remember our duck-duck-goose disaster. Foreigner? We're not foreigners. Sorry, Mrs. Griffin. Not only did you destroy your passports, you renounced your citizenship. When did we do that? Oh, I did that on the Italian social networking site. Shut up at you Facebook. Don't 
Doctor, what about Viagra or Cialis? What about them? Well, if Peter could try them, they might help with his problem. Oh, Those no. are man troubles? I've been prescribing them as antidepressants. Everything's just getting harder and harder. <laughs> you guys do whatever you want. I got stuff to do anyway. I gotta get ready for my bar mitzvah. Come on, you think the fat man's gonna figure out those clues? He's an idiot. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yes, I mean, he's the guy who put all those little bald men in incubators because he thought they were babies. Look at you. You came early, but you're gonna make it. I'm a senior vice president at an investment firm. Oh, someone's a fussy britches. Don't you remember how much money your father wasted so he could make grand staircase entrances? Hey, is Peter here? Uh, hang on. Peter! Why, Glenn Quagmire, it's been ten years if it's been a day. This is just stupid. Uh, maybe sometime you could take me on a ride-along with you. Show me the neighborhood. Yeah, I don't take people out on ride-alongs anymore. I, I had a bad experience with Grimace. I gotta be honest, I can't get a beat on you, man. Sorry, Mort, but this is a cutthroat business, and we need someone tough in our corner, like Indonesian kickboxer Agus Banwati. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Disappear. Disappear. Come on. Come on. It's been three weeks, and you haven't had a single job lead. Now, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. So what makes you want to be a crossing guard? I don't know. I just thought it would be cool to decide which kids do and don't get hit by a car. We now return to Saving Private Ryan, brought to you without commercial interruption by Mazda. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> you tricked me. You were as bad as those predators on the internet. And I thought maybe you and I could finally go fishing like we've been talking about. Ah, oh, sorry, Chris, I can't. I got insanity practice. Ah! 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 Pinwheels! Pinwheels in my head! Voices! Angry fish! How's he doing? Not good. He still thinks this is practice of some sort. <laughs> we now return to ah! At The Movies with two guys who watch the films on their iPhones. Good evening. First off, we're going to review Paul Greengrass's Captain Phillips. What did you think, Bill? Well, it got off to a great start, but when it was my turn to play Words with Friends, it really took me out of it. Well, that's a shame, because visually... Ooh. Ooh. When we come back, the guys will review American Hustle. Hmm? Let me out! You can't keep me in here forever! I have too many plans for the future! I'll never win a Nobel Prize! I'll never be a member of Parliament! I'll never get to express disappointment with young people while putting in my dentures! Stupid younger generation. Back in my day, we had Katy Perry, Justin Bieber. That was real music. And although I will never get over the pain of what you did to my son, I forgive you because I believe you are sick and in need of help. Gay. Mr. Griffin, this is the Office of City Planning. You requested a variance to build a hot tub off your garage? Oh, yeah. Did I get it? No. Oh, I will no. kill your son! <laughs> your son is dead! <laughs> Here we are. Christmas night, 1776. Oh, the father Jesus. of our nation, George Washington, is about to boldly cross good the Delaware. Lord, that, What's on his arms? Right off Those the are bat. water wings. He was terrified of the water. That was good. Ooh. Easy. Mm -hmm. Like anything in the universe? Absolutely. Brookstone massage chair. Really? Are, are you sure? Yep. Never been more sure of anything in my life. Well, except one thing. Good evening, sir. Would you like to hear our specials? No! Pizza! Oh. Twirl that long hair sticking out of your face mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll be a better team than the Warsaw Globetrotters. Nothing is off limits. Hey, Peter, you're more excited than Adrian Peterson at an arboretum. Daddy, what kind of tree is that? Man, I want to beat you with so many things around here. What? Mm -hmm. Ugh, this is going to be a bigger disaster than Y2 Gay. No one. I hope my dad's not watching no. ABC. No. All right, we're just going to take a quick cap smear. Don't you mean pap smear? No. At this hospital, we obtain the sample using beloved British comic strip roustabout, Andy Cap. 
Hello, love. Let's have a swear. I'm not letting you do that. You can't even see. That's all right, bird. I goes by smell. Wait, there's a lot of sex and drugs with these things. You sure you're ready for this? Of course I am. I'm tired of living my life in a tiny little box like some sort of claustrophobic turtle. Everybody hates how you dress. Right, Joe? Sorry, I stay out of fashion debates. I've been burned one too many times. Hey, guys, notice anything different? Yeah, Minetti's got a hot new look. The whole thing, it just uh. works. <laughs> Minetti! She's coming here was a bad idea. Like when I brought museum behavior into my home. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, you can hear everything. Excuse me, we do ask that you don't touch anything. Mm -hmm. This is idiotic. You're never going to find a turkey in there. Oh, I'll find one. I mean, you're looking at the guy who found a fountain of youth. It's very far away from here. Mm -hmm. Ugh, I can't change you back. This whole endeavor was doomed to fail. Like an Asian guy going to a salon. I, I want to have my anus breached. What? This is Did for the best. Did you say bleached yeah, or I mean, breached? Sure bleached, but oh, it call, sounded yeah. like breached. I'm scared. I'm still keeping all the gifts from the baby shower. You had a baby shower? Oh, now this makes it real. Oh, no. oh my goodness, that's enough cake for you, Mary Beth. Uh. Oh, girls, it is so nice to be part of a group again. And I'm having the best time, especially yesterday when we all got mammograms. <laughs> if what? I have cancer, we're all going to Brazil. Uh. Yes, and there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see those forms. What? That's wild. We should go check it out right now. Ordinarily, I'd say no, but that adult kickball league is coming in for drinks, so let's get out of here. Guys, check it out. I've got flip-up shades on my flip-up shades. Dude, you are the worst. Hey, we're all the worst. All right, you know what? I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. Counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts. I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night! How did that put someone to sleep? Well, Peter's been doing his best, but lately he seems more focused on marketing his erotic advent calendar. All right, kids, let's see what's under Christmas. Oh, another puckered anus. <laughs> what? <laughs> we now return to DJ Butcher. DJ Butcher. Hey, bro! Hey! You requesting a song or ordering some sliced meat? Meat! Half a pound of turkey, please! You want a sample? You mean like a slice of turkey? Or like a short section of one musical recording that's been digitally repurposed to be part of a new song? Uh -oh. I don't know. I might quit this job. <laughs> I think we can really knock it out of the park. Oh, we sure can, Lois. We're gonna be a great team. Like Moses and his buddy who like to collect seashells. Yay! You sure about this, Peter? You bet. As sure as I was when I created Lady Gaga. All right, listen, fella. Your game is confusion. Zip, zam, zoop. Nobody gets a straight look at nothing. <laughs> you were right, Peter. This kid's a thief. We did it. Well, look at us. You know, we make a great team, guys. Like Huey Lewis and the Jews. You don't need money. I'm sorry, the bed's breaking up. Uh, what? Don't need money. Yeah, we now return you. to an 80s teen movie at a realistic high school. You going down at that karate tournament. I don't think so. You guys do karate? You're both losers. Hey, dude, can you pass me a speck of spaz? Sorry, bro. All out. You want a cube of fruish? No, I'm not into fruish. I got a tear of laser dragon. Can I Ooh. handle that? I don't Is this drugs from know. the 2400s? <laughs> 200 years in the future, everyone will be getting high off of flim flam and zip zoop. Right. <laughs> and they'll be all in strips. Uh. No more pills and strings of shit. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Can you? Gum, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. Right, you're not thinking clearly. All right, you've got to agree to this surgery. They always need new TSA screeners. Really? Wow, that'd be great. Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. And thanks for taking the time. Most people aren't usually that nice to me. Ugh, gross. <laughs> You're making a smart move, Quagmire. 
like I did when I wanted to get out of that boring meeting. Third quarter projections indicate our sales will be down 40%. Why don't we go through the profit-loss statement line by line from the past six quarters, mm. which will offer us a good cost analysis comparison uh, that I think we'll be able to utilize as we move forward uh, in the next fiscal year. Oh, no. Hey, guys, I gotta leave. I got a nosebleed, and uh, I don't work here. <laughs> ah, I wouldn't worry, Lois. I never did very well in school, either. I even failed homeroom. Peter Griffin? There. No, oh, no. It was awful. I didn't even get to go to my high school prom, but my mom did. Hey, is Crystal ready? Oh, hi, Ronnie. Hey, listen, have my mom home by midnight, okay? How about I plow her in the limo and have her home in 20 minutes? Oh, come on, Ronnie. She bought the dress. Uh -huh. Well, for the next 72 hours, I'm going to be harder to find than a nice cat. You need me to clean out your litter box? Oh, wow. Mittens. What? Wait a minute. Come on, Meg. Your only chance at fame would have been as the dog on Frasier. Well, of course I respect my father. He's a vet. Woof. Not that kind of vet. <laughs> you can't always get things right on the first try. Just look at Snoopy's original happy dance. Hey, you having a good time tonight? Uh, oh, uh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We now return to Rocky Dennis the Menace. Oh. What the hell? Oh, it's you. My wife said I'm not allowed to get mad at you anymore. Well, we Koreans do not age. We pay Cambodians to do that for us. Mm. I seven year old. I work for Suji. We now return to Rational Geographic. Upon realizing a trip to Africa would be smelly and gross, our crew decided to stay in the office. Oh, no. Mother. <laughs> this is Rational Geographic. Great job, Chris. Why don't you jerk the rest of the day off? Oh, God, no. Uh -huh. Man, this is the best job ever. And to think I almost took that pop-up restaurant gig. Hi, you hungry? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why don't you guys all come to my show tonight as my guests? Are you serious? Backstage with Taylor Swift? Well, that'll be even cooler than when I was in that remake of The Princess Bride with Bill Cosby. Now, one of these has the I.O. cane powder, you see, and one of them makes you go sleepy-by with your mouth open. No! Uh -huh. One of them makes you go sleepy-by with your mouth open. <laughs> Pills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you guys all come to my show tonight as my guests? Are you serious? Backstage with Taylor Swift? Well, that'll be even cooler than when I was in that remake of The Princess Bride with Bill Cosby. Now, one of these has the I.O. cane powder, you see, and I one of them makes you go sleepy-by with your mouth open. <laughs> oh, my nightmare dog is dead. Marley and me. Oh. Hi, I'm that prostitute you guys hired to seduce your friend. Oh, boy. Well, deal's off. He's dead. Well, we got to do a test run to make sure you're worth the money first. Right. It's going to be a very rigorous shoot. Just going to tell you up front. It's going to be a lot of hard work. But uh, with perseverance and a little bit of grit, elbow grease, mm -hmm. possibly other types of grease as well, we'll be able to get through it. Block off the rest of your week. The rehearsal's very extensive. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm that prostitute you guys hired to seduce your friend. Oh, boy. Well, deal's off. He's dead. But perhaps we can make other, other arrangements. arrangements. Yep. Damn it, this is awful. How could I have not noticed sooner? I mean, it's more obvious than when George Takei was in the closet. Hey, George, how are you? I am a heterosexual. I love vaginas. <laughs> so what are you doing tonight? Hopefully choking on some lovely lady parts. Oh, numbers. Never All right, that sounds fun. Part. See you later. I am a heterosexual. <laughs> you know he is lying because you, you, there's no parts on a lady to choke yeah. on. I've never choked on a lady part, ever. You realize the harm you've caused? Harm? What are you talking about? I'm making the world a better place. Like when I was the Instagram police. Oh, no. Sorry, lady. Gotta crop the church. Yep, that's exactly what that is. Mm. 
I will take this. Oh, no. And cut away complete. Well, beat his dick in the car. <laughs> Sorry, Lois. I honestly thought this was going to be fun. Like when I won that sex contest. What? What? First again. Wasn't even close, was it? Uh, no, Peter. It wasn't even close. Yeah, you are terrible at this. Now, why don't you clean up and go get the champ a Gatorade, huh? That's why, as a man, you got to turn your sexual inadequacies into a little game. Mm -hmm. Bitch, this wasn't for pleasure. This was a race. Uh, <laughs> you get mad at me because you came in last again, bitch. That's your fault. That's funny. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Better start cheating at the starting line like I do. <laughs> Sorry, Lois. I honestly thought this was going to be fun. Like when I won that sex contest. First again. Yeah. Wasn't even close, was it? No, Peter. Photo it finish. wasn't even close. Every yeah, time. you are terrible at this. <laughs> now, why don't you clean up and go get the champ a Gatorade, huh? Hey, awesome. Oh, we haven't finish. done anything Every as a group time. since we went bird watching. <laughs> Guys, look. It's the yellow-headed puffin face. Ooh. It's a solitary creature. Its feathered crown is designed to scare away mates. It's known to swell its face to assert dominance when threatened. What does it eat, Peter? Gin and whatever's in the bowl at the airport bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we now return to the Terminator. <laughs> you got me on that one. I've been sent here from the future. I have to have sex with your housekeeper to save humanity. What? Bring me your housekeeper. I have to have sex with her now. I'm the Terminator. I don't have a housekeeper, and I think you're just present-day Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, I am a machine. Every second I'm not having sex with a housekeeper. Robots are killing people in the future. Okay, I finished for the day. You lied to me. You do have a housekeeper. Let's go make a large-faced boy. Yeah, no offense, Peter, but I don't know if you should be running a school. What are you talking about? I'm a natural leader. That's why I'm so good at leading Simon Says. Simon Says, leave the band. Oh, no. Nah. Come on, Brian. You and I should probably rehearse. We've got a show in 20 minutes. Yeah. Fine, go ahead. It's not going to be the same. Like Cheers wasn't the same when they brought in Kirstie Alley. Hmm. Norm! No, I'm, I'm Rebecca. Oh! Oh, my oh, God! God. God. I can't believe it! it. Uh-oh. This means I have an awkward phone call to make. What? No, no, it was stupid. What, two guys going to homecoming? I, I assumed it was a goof this whole time. Take it out. I'm ugly and unlovable. Well no. All right, you guys ready for church? Church? What are you, an idiot? It's the first snow of the season. We're going sledding. Please, can we, Mom? Well, I mean, it's Sunday and... Come on, Lois. After all, sledding was the second passion of the Christ. Eat this, for this is my dust. Oh, no. Brian, please, if you do this for me, you'll be a hero. Just like King Arthur when he pulled the sword from the stone. And that's when you ask for the blowjob. Right at that point, please do this for me. I was a word. <laughs> Damn it. I can't believe I missed it. Jeez, I hope I don't end up stuck in here like Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Robert, perhaps you should push with your shoulder. And not your fist? Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> it would have been funnier if he would have said finger. Rabbit, you think perhaps you should push with your shoulder and not your pinky finger? Mm. <laughs> oh, I've never played <laughs> baseball before. <laughs> oh, come on, Chris, you gotta do it. If you don't, you'll regret it. Just like Jesus' friend, Evan, who bailed on the Last Supper. Aw, they did a painting? I would have gone if I knew they were gonna do a painting. They always be like that. Wow, this place is cool. Yeah, what do all these buttons do? Like, what's this red one? Well, that's a voice filter, so the passengers always think the pilot is a 60-year-old Midwestern white man. What? Ooh. That's impossible. Hi, y'all. This is Cleveland. Good afternoon, folks. This is Captain Dale Clark up here on the flight deck. We're way up in the air. We've reached our cruising altitude of 37,000 feet. Y'all get ready to watch Big Mama's house. Our in-flight entertainment today will be Under the Tuscan Sun. Oh, uh, I like that. I hear it's good. What? Oh, damn it, being deaf sucks. I'd rather be stuck on a Disney cruise. <laughs> oh, 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 don't eat the shrimp. Oh, oh. oh, no. I mean, it's a tough decision. Like what to do with that big watermelon I bought. Griffin, I just wanted to tell you, that's a great outfit. Keep it up. I knew it. Damn, she... I have to start trusting myself more. She a freak. Mm -hmm. Wow, she Dad, freak. I guess that means Grandpa's your new boss. Ah, oh, crap. I don't want to work for him. 
I'd rather work for Dr. Frankenstein. Ooh. Igor, I did it! Hold on. You discovered the power to create new life, and you created a guy? So, I should have made a woman so I could have sex with a corpse? I don't know, man. You just shouldn't have made a guy. Man, you guys think Joe's as happy as he says he is just doing all that desk work? No way. He's just putting lipstick on a pig. This is called Crimson Sky. What do you think? Mmm. Harold? Get this off of me! What are you doing in the women's department? Uh, waiting for you? Well, I'm ready. Let's go. Who are you? <laughs> Peter, I need you to take Chris and Meg to school. Today's the day I finally kill that squirrel that's been eating our tomatoes. Try to get like eight of them this time. I want to make bruschetta. Mm. You know, I have a good feeling about this, Brian. After all, you certainly can't be any worse than the last roommate I had. What the? Please don't cry. She's already very angry at me. Peter, oh. where are you? You will wash your hands after you poop. Shh, shh. <gasps> oh! I can't believe it, you guys. This is the biggest surprise since the last M. Night Shyamalan movie. Two tickets for the M. Night Shyamalan movie? Wow. Really? And you, you're done. Clean up your lock. Kicked out? I'm totally screwed. Like those poor guys who had to come up with a new ad campaign for Subway. Hey, I'm Mike. I like sandwiches and people my own age. Subway, please don't think of pedophilia. Oh, yeah. Yes, you heard me right. Cancel my insurance. I've been in this location for 40 years, and never once have I broken a lamp. Good day, sir. Ah! <laughs> God, I hope he's got insurance. Of course he's got insurance. He's been at this location for 40 years. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Cancel my husband's life insurance. He's been in perfect health for 40 years. We're selling the lamp store and going to travel. We need this after losing both our children. Good day, sir. Well, there you have it. There you have it. When the golden gets rough, the rough slits their own throat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD Twizzle.